What about being born exactly 9-8 days between the two eclipses, the lunar and solar? Some astrologers recommend I get puja done to get rid of the inauspicious effects. However, uh, however, what's the truth and if I should proceed with it? Uh, there's one word missing in your question, but either which way, I understand what you're trying to ask me is, being born exactly 9 to 8 days between two eclipses, is it an inauspicious? My answer is no. Taking birth by itself on this earth and enjoying the benefits of the earth and of your potentials and talents is auspicious by itself. You are born as a human being. You're a lucky human being. No period is auspicious or inauspicious. Thinking makes it so. The solar and lunar eclipse are two, um, uh, I would say, times uh, in a year. It, it happens about four times in a year. But it's basically just apprising you what needs to be rectified in the outer world and how halabu is created there. And then it says how to strengthen your inner cause or recognize your inner cause or your emotions uh, during the lunar eclipse because we are thinking inward. During the solar eclipse, we are thinking outward. And the period between solar and lunar is not inauspicious at all. In fact, it is uh, understanding. See, the solar eclipse always comes first. So basically, uh, your world around or the outside world of yours is shaken up. There are rules and regulations changing. Things are not happening to the way you wanted them to happen. So you are being apprised of certain uh, situations. You are being apprised of certain uh, um, things that are coming to light. Then comes the lunar energies that you start thinking from your subconscious mind or you are more conscious emotionally of what has happened to you and how you can either rectify it or strengthen it. So how come the period between solar and lunar can be inauspicious? And how can the pujas be done or the other things be done to remove that inauspiciousness about you? You must understand auspicious, inauspicious is a thought created by your mind. You are a lucky human being for having taken birth on this earth and being able to recognize what is right and what is wrong, being able to recognize what is imperfect and what is perfect, and then creating a balance in your life because eventually the aim of life is to create health, wealth and happiness for yourself. So please don't get into the superstitions of auspicious and inauspicious. I would say the very fact that you are born after the solar eclipse means that your outer world needs to be created by your inner energies. So my simple uh, advice to you would be that always think from your heart and create the world that you feel is not perfect according to you or whatever existing circumstances you're living in. If you're not happy with that, listen to your heart and start recoloring, repainting and restructuring your life from the voice of your heart. So listening to your heart, listening to your gut feeling and um, listening to the voice within is your best benefactor. In fact, you are born at a very potent time where you are more inward listening to your inner core, your energies and the voice within and then restructure, being able to restructure your world. So what luckier person than uh, you to having taken birth at such an opportune time? Though I strongly believe we all have taken a birth for a purpose, recognizing your calling and destiny is what you've come here for. So navigate your life beautifully and be an architect of your fate.